Hey guys, so today I got called for a two-day trip. Today I go from Philly to Orlando. My sign-in time at the airport is around, I think it's 5.10, so I'm leaving my apartment at 4.10. It is so beautiful out, like, I had my windows open earlier, I don't know why they're closed, but it's so nice. The weather in Philly has been gorgeous little snack before I leave for my trip. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. I showed it to you on Instagram already, but why isn't this book saying? But uh, not all of you guys have followed me on Instagram, so I thought I would show you on here. Usually at Starbucks when I do this, I will get two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup, okay? And when I'm at home, I just put a little bit, I don't have an espresso machine, so I just put a little bit of coffee and mix it that way so this is the premier protein caramel i'll leave a link for it listed down below um but it's so tasty so i'll mix that together put in a scoop of my collagen peptides and throw in some ice just a great snack it really holds me over and it tastes so dang good it tastes i love caramel macchiatos from starbucks but you know they're not the most healthy so this is like 10 times better and probably one third of the calories I kind of talked to you guys about a few things because changes are happening people changes are happening so a lot of you guys are asking for an updated self tanner routine i'll probably do that when i in the next few months but um i just wanted to share this little tip with you guys i use the loving tan ultra dark deluxe bronzing mousse this stuff is amazing make sure you get the ultra dark though um i use a mitt for my entire body except when it comes to my face my hands and my feet i use a makeup brush it's just a little tip for you circular motions buffing into the face um it's just a tip because it does like more of an even application for those like spots like on your hands um in between all that good stuff so i know you guys want an updated one i'll try and do that i just want to throw that in there um i do have a discount code for loving tan to get a free mint and i will leave that listed below also let's talk about i kind of tempted you guys saying i put in my transfer so guys i got my transfer um i am moving out of philadelphia lease ends on april 30th how crazy is that oh my gosh um so yeah we're leaving philly the next few vlogs maybe the next vlog i'll probably tell you guys so i'm really excited i'm so happy a lot of people got their transfers um the pretty passenger ashley she got her transfer to dallas i saw but we're hiring so many people so uh the way it works is the transfers that are in have to go through before they give um that base before that base is available to the new hires if that makes sense obviously like that's how it should work if people have been transfers they should get first dibs before the new hires makes sense right with that being said that i'm moving um i have been a little absent on instagram social media because i'm moving i'm busy and um yeah welcome to orlando we just got into our hotel. It is, what time is it? 11.10. We were delayed. Um, this hotel room is actually really nice. Let me show you. you walk in, look at this lighting. Nice shower, really nice mirror. Closet. We good. And then look at this lighting, nice ambiance. Got another mirror here. All the goods. Fridge, no microwave, crappy. And it's dark out. We're delayed coming in here. I'm not really sure what happened. Oh, let me just put you guys down. Like I said, I'm not really sure what happened it was just like a mess. Um, we were supposed to be on one aircraft. They switched it to a different aircraft. You know, who really knows? So we were an hour and a half delayed. Um, we came from Philly to Orlando and we were supposed to get in originally at 8.48 and it's now 11.12. Um, so our flight tomorrow morning was supposed to be at 
9.01 is pushed back till 9.30. So that's another reason why delays can happen too. Crew rest. Um, we have to have it at least eight hours behind the door. So that's why our flight is delayed. It's not always maintenance or mechanical. We are flying on the 767 today, tomorrow, and then we switch to the A330. So um, I prefer, for those of you who care about planes, I prefer the A330. I love them all, they're all beautiful planes, but I just prefer the A330. A really good crew though. I wish we had more than the time that we have because I would love to hang out with them. Um, the sweet girl, I saw her on standby yesterday, her name's Sam, and we were talking on standby and I wanted one of the blue coats that our uh, company has. I didn't end up getting one and they're all sold out and she had one and she said she didn't want it and so she gave it to me and she brought it. She was like, yeah, I saw that you were on the trip so I just brought it for you. How stinking sweet is that? Um, so I got a new blue coat. Should I show you guys? I'll show you real quick. Oof standing on the toilet but here it is it is company issued so you guys can't get it um but it's nice and long and i love it so thank you so that is it for me tonight guys i am going to hit the hay I'm pretty tired um and tomorrow we have a long day if we do keep all the same flights we have to go from orlando to philly Philly to Charlotte, Charlotte back to Philly, and we don't get in until 8 something. And then I'm off for two days. I hit the hay before I totally like lose it. We have to be up early. Our van's at 8, so I have to be up at like 7.15. 7? No, 7.15. Well, can you turn it on? Turn it on! What are we playing? Mario. Mario. Yeah, plus this button. Okay. And plus the we and yeah, get the oh. grandpa. You, you. He's downstairs. Yeah. You want me to do it? Oh yeah. Let's see. Let's Chef Kelly. So. How do I do this? Let's try this one maybe. No, it's not. Okay. Um, the, um, Which one is it? This one. This one? Yes. Look at you're so smart. Yeah. Oh, all right, let's do it. That's yours. That's your coach. That one's mine. Hmm. All right. Okay. Where did that facial expression come from? That angry face. <laughs> now, so good. Because we are safety conscious here, we put on our hearing protection. Yeah. Good job. Where's our hearing protection? I don't think those nails are long enough, but we'll find out. Okay. Pull the trigger. Guys, what's going on? So, I just wanted to fill you in really quickly on what happened. The last time we spoke, I was, what am I doing with my hair real quick? Um, do I want to straighten it or curl it? The last time that we spoke, I was in Orlando for my overnight. And the next day was going to be a long, grueling day, wasn't it? Well, you have no idea what ended up happening. Our original flight plan looked a little something like this. I'll pull it up on my phone. I use this app called Roster Buster. If you guys are flight attendants, um, some of you guys might use it, some of you guys might not. This is what it looks like. It's a little faded because it's used. Um, or the day's over. So I was supposed to go to Philadelphia at 9.01. Land at 11.30. Go from Philly to Charlotte at 12.55. Land at um, 2.47.
go back to Philadelphia from Charlotte at 4.39 and get in at 6.30. What ended up happening was our flight from Orlando to Philly. I think that one was on time. That one was good. We started off on the 767 aircraft again. And then um, when we got to Philly, we switched to a 330. All right. And that's when things kind of, you know, started to get a little crazy. We were switching planes um, to go to Charlotte. We were trying to go on, we were switching aircrafts and we were going on the 330. Our flight our plane was coming in from Paris. So what happens then when an aircraft comes in from an international flight is they have to deplane, then they have to cater the plane, and they have to do a um, security sweep. So that is a process. Catering that plane, cleaning that plane is a process because the A330 is a huge aircraft. You're supposed to leave Philly at 12.55 to go to Charlotte. We left there around 2.30. I think my nephew's coming to try and scare me. Should I let him scare me or should I scare him? You just hear him breathing. I hear you. <laughs> Hi. Boo! I was going to try and scare you. <laughs> What's up? Um, oh my gosh, you're so cold! Um, what's that? Um, what? I, I was hearing something. Oh, I was talking to the camera. But then I thought you were trying to scare me, so I was going to try and scare you. I'm just going to turn it off. Why would I turn it off? I don't know. Don't you want to be on it? <gasps> no? What? saying we are waiting for the plane and it finally shows up they do all that they have to do get to Charlotte and our plane is coming in from Madrid and that flight <laughs> was delayed we were supposed to have a two hour sit in Charlotte which means that um, it's just time in the airport where you sit and uh, wait for your next flight. We do not get paid for it. We only get paid for the per diem, which is, um, I think we get 220 an hour per diem. Once again, since it is coming internationally, you guessed it, uh, they have to do a sweep. They have to do all these things, and that takes a lot of time. Laid, once again, unhappy passengers. Don't blame them one bit. And we don't get into Chicago, or we don't get into Philadelphia now. Remember what time I said? We were supposed to get at 6 something. And almost all of us were commuting home. Um, we didn't get in until around 8.30. So, it was a little bit of a day for us. Um, I decided to jump on the last flight out from Philly to go to sh home here to Chicago. And that was at 9.30, so you better bet my butt was running. We had to go, if you guys are familiar with the Philadelphia airport, I had to go from A to C, or I'm sorry, A to B16, and it was a hike, and it was a lot, so, you know. I made it, I got a seat, and then last night my mom and aunt picked me up. They, now I'm here today. So my HelloFresh box came today. I have three meals in it. Let me show you guys what we'll be cooking. So I have the Mexican chicken and rice bowl, balsamic fig chicken. This is what I'm about to make, the barramundi and scallion sriracha pesto. It sounds a little spicy, but it looks good. It has all of the ingredients that come in the bags. Take around 30 minutes to make. So I have everything in the fridge. This is the one that I want. I 
let's get to prepping. So guys, I'm currently at my parents' house right now and I had my HelloFresh delivered here so that I could meal prep for when I head back to Philadelphia. So I just went ahead and washed and dried all of the produce, all this good stuff. Well, I always like having HelloFresh delivered because I get recipes sent to my house and I don't have to go grocery shopping for them. All the ingredients come pre-measured, they're included, it arrives right at my doorstep. And it's just it's simple it's easy i'm just gonna cut up all the veggies um i always find it really helpful to look at this it has each step there's six steps each time and it gives you pictured instructions so that you don't mess up i find it really useful because as long as i can see what's on the pictures i can make sure that i'm doing everything correctly um and yeah they have it all you can read it get detailed instructions. All of the ingredients in the box come pre-measured. They are seasonal recipes. They're really simple and easy to make. I have never had a problem making them and I'm not one who knows how to cook really. So if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. When I say that they come pre-measured, here's an example. So this is the bag that everything comes in. There's my oven is ready. Um, so everything's pre-measured. You know, you don't have to get those measuring spoons out. They make it so easy peasy for you. So when it's delivered, it comes in this special box. It's insulated, let me show you. This is it's insulated, it has a bunch of ice in the bottom. So everything stays really fresh and cold um, in case if you can't grab it from your doorstep right away. I've done that a few times where I haven't been home when it was delivered and it still stayed really fresh. The meat was good as well, um, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, HelloFresh has three plans that you can use. They have the classic plan, they have the veggie plan, and they have the family plan. You can switch between all three of them just in case if you need something new to try. Um, your taste buds are needing some new flavors. Like I told you guys, every meal comes together in 30 minutes max amount of time and and all of the recipes only call for less than two pots and pans, which is really helpful for me when I get my delivery in Philadelphia because I don't have a lot of counter space like I do at my parents' house and I only have two burners. So it's perfect and it requires a lot less cleanup. And this would be good. I'm making it for my mom. She just called me and said she was on her way home and she's hungry. Uh, I'm also cooking the other one so that I can meal prep for when I get back because I don't know if I'm gonna get called for work. It's actually late to go grocery shopping or anything. So. So also I love this. If I don't have time, they just deliver it right to my door. It's perfect. So I have the Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts ready. They just go in here for 15, 20 minutes to brown. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving and is America's number one meal kit. Get started today with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter promo code CarrieAnn80. You get $20 off each of your first four boxes. Howdy. Howdy. Ooh, smells good. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. Now let's see if mom likes it. Excellent. Yeah, let's try the fish. I've never heard of that fish. Have you had Bear Mundi before? Bear Mundi? Never. Let's see. We love fish, by the way. There's a shirt. Very good. Very good. Not fishy. Meaty. Really good fish. Really good fish. It was a few days after we spoke last. And that night, after I prepped my food, I was taking a flight back home to Philly. Normally we'll take the 10 o'clock flight out of Chicago to go to Philly, but I took the 7 o'clock flight. Everything was really smooth. I'd get into Philly around 10 and I thought it would just be great, okay? I was on time. Everything was good. And then this happened. I have a few clips from what happened, but basically when we went to take off on the flight, something happened with the takeoff and they... they pilots just like stopped um so this was the voiceover i'm not sure if you guys 
will be able to hear exactly what they're saying. Um, a lot of people were talking in the background on the flight because people were kind of freaking out. I'm going to play that right now. And decided to uh, stop the takeoff and come back around and uh, check something out here. We're taking a look at it now and uh, checking our fuel and uh, I'll get back to you in just a few minutes. Thank you for your patience, but uh, in honor of safety, uh, we're going to sit here and check this out. So I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Thank you very much. Actually have a, an issue here and uh, we're going to have our maintenance personnel check it out. I'm not sure exactly what will happen once we get there. We'll, we'll figure it out and we'll get you to Philly hopefully this evening. Uh, once again, thank you for your patience. So, remind you, I was at home and I was on call the next day. So, after the pilots came on and said, said that, we went back to the gate and had maintenance look at the plane. I gotta tell you, it was a little scary. Um, just because I've never, it wasn't like an aborted takeoff, it was just like something wasn't right and we were going going and then just like halted to a stop I was sitting right by the window seat and it like I just saw grass and I was like oh my god are we about to go into the grass like what is happening right now and the lady next to me started crying like people just started crying I was like oh my gosh like we we're all okay everything was fine so we went back to the gate and we had maintenance take a look at it we didn't end up leaving Chicago until about 9 30 and then we land in Philly I think it was around midnight yes midnight mid 30 and I uber to my apartment I show up and I've lived in the same apartment for an entire year and I've never had this happen but everyone was evacuated from my apartment. There were fire trucks everywhere and I guess there was a fire in the building. I never saw it, I never asked about it. I was so tired, I was exhausted. So, I get to my apartment building and I can't go inside. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious, of course this would happen. I'm on call tomorrow morning. I think I went to bed around two or three because I got back to my apartment around one when this was happening and all of a sudden what time did they text me four o'clock no 3 a.m i get a call from crew scheduling and i have a trip i was literally in two hours of sleep and it was such a long trip so my report time was i had to be there at i think six no i had to be there at 7 10. so it was a three-day trip we went from Philly to Dallas, Dallas, and overnighted in Orlando the first night. We were delayed all day. Um, we had minimum rest going into Orlando again. It was a mess because of the tornadoes going on in Philly, Dallas, and then there was a bunch of snow in Minneapolis and in Chicago. So everything was delayed, everything was a mess. I didn't vlog any of this because I was just so tired and I just was like, no, I can't. The next day, we went from Orlando to Dallas, or I'm sorry, yeah, Orlando to Dallas, Dallas to San Antonio. And we had a really long layover there. I was just so exhausted because we had such short rests the night before that I didn't do anything. Um, I literally edited videos and looked for apartments online. And then the last day was San Antonio to LA, LA to Philly. And that, I'm surprised that's even a legal flight because usually if you go coast to coast, they only do that as one flight and then you're done for the day. But to go from San Antonio to LA, which is, I think it was three hours and 30 minutes, and then LA to Philly was five or six hours. That is insane. And then I had two days off. So I went back home because you guys know I'm in the process of moving, so I'm taking stuff home and getting it out of my apartment here in Philadelphia. So I go home and I was there for a day and a half maybe. The day of going home, I decided last minute that um, I was gonna take the earlier flight and not do the 10 o'clock flight. And I thought the flight was at 7.20. So I was really pushing it. And then I got in to the airport. I was rushing to my gate. I had 20 minutes to get there um, before 
the flight was supposed to take off. So, you know, the door closes 10 minutes prior to departure. If they're able to, usually they are. So I had 10 minutes to go from KCM to my gate. I thought my gate was, what did I think my gate was? I thought my gate was K16. So I am hustling and I'm just making it two minutes prior to door closing time. And I get there and it says it's going to Indianapolis. And I was like, what? So I look it up and I was supposed to go to H14. Okay, this is my fault because usually my mom will drive to the airport, but I drove and usually while she's driving, I'll like double check everything. But I was like, okay, I looked like I know it's K. No, it was not K. Um, so I call my mom and I tell her, I was like, I'm definitely missing this flight. Like turn around, come back and get me. And I'm hustling just in case. She, to see if H14 is still there. And my mom's like, okay, I'll see if the flight's delayed, blah, blah, blah. So I am hustling my butt off, literally like dripping in sweat. It was absolutely disgusting. And my mom calls me and says that the flight was supposed to leave at 7.08. And here in my head, I was like 7.20, I'm already missing it. But I was like, oh, it's a long gone if it's 7.08. But she said that it was delayed until 7.15. So for me to hustle and get there and make it there. No one's even boarded. I was like, what on earth? And they just kept pushing back the delay and pushing back the delay. And long story short, I got on the flight. I made it back to Philly. It was good. And I did not get called. I have not gotten called in a week. I'm hoping I don't get called at all because there's just so much going on right now. That was a little story time. There's not a lot of action in this. I wish I would have been filming these trips because things just kept happening. Going through Dallas, like all the flights were delayed because they were coming from Chicago and then Chicago had snow and it was just one thing after another. It was crazy. So like I said, sorry there wasn't much action, but I'm sure a lot of you guys had issues. I met, met Miss Kathy in the Dallas airport and she had been stuck in the airport for I think 16 hours she said like there were so many delays the customer service line was just around the corner it was crazy so sorry for all the delays there's a lot going on with weather blame it on the weather um but I hear you I'm feeling it too so that's it um the next vlog I'm sure I will be telling you much more about where we're moving, what we're doing, all that good stuff because I have only seven more days here in Philly and then we're off. So next few vlogs will be very interesting. Stay tuned, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.